space, the final frontier. If you're a keen reader of Isaac Asimov or addicted to Star Trek, you may well have your eye on moon travel as a possible destination one day. To boldly go where no man has gone before. It may still take some time, but perhaps now there's some room to be a little less skeptical at arriving in deep space. In 1997, John Rottenberg, the creator of the television series Star Trek, chose it after his death to scatter his ashes in outer space. Since then, it's become somewhat of a business, and today, when Israelis die, they can also be united with their cosmic dust. <laughs> Mid Alon Nativ, the representative in Israel for NASA and the North American Space Services Organization. For $10,000, they'll ensure the corpus of a loved one is incinerated. For another $1,000, a part of their ashes to reach their final destination in outer space. The journey starts at the Space Center in Houston. There, in an exciting ceremony, the families watching from Earth watch their loved ones leaving the atmosphere as we know it, where their ashes will be scattered in outer space. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Today, around 35% of worldwide funerals choose cremation. In Israel, this is against Orthodox Jewish law. But there are no lack of Jews who place their faith in verses of the Old Testament and nevertheless choose to take their leave of this world in this way. Nativ offers an alternative burial spreading ashes over the sea and desert and can even turn ashes into a diamond. So make a diamond for $20,000 in the space or a vase in the home. In the USA, this is a culture that has even lost its taboo, honoring loved ones. Why not even frame them and hang them up? But one thing is to keep in mind, there are always risks involved.